Hey guys, Tyler here. For this video, I'm gonna talk about the Gamera set from Arrow Video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. So without further hesitation, let's take a look at the set and see what it's like. This set is very humongous, guys. If you compare the Godzilla set to the Gamera set, it's practically like sticker in comparison to the Godzilla set. Now the Godzilla set itself was pretty humongous, but this one right here is way sticker than the Godzilla set right here. The first thing that you'll immediately notice is that Gamera, of course, is just breathing fire. And all the artwork that was done for the set was done by a guy named Matt Frank. And he did an amazing job just capturing just how awesome and how cool the giant turtle really is. The spine, more or less, have a listing of the movies. And of course, when you flip it to the back, you pretty much have the listing of all the extras that are included for this set. And by the way, guys, I will go into full detail about the extras that are included in the set because it's like a lot of different extras that's included. This set comes with at least three different booklets. So let's talk about them one by one. The first booklet, of course, has the entire series. When they say the entire series, they literally mean the entire series. Of course, you have the first two movies right here. You get, like, the other movies right here. And, of course, you have, like, the uh, 90s trilogy in this part right here. And then for the last one, you have, of course, Gamma the Brave and Gamma Street. And of course, in the back, you have some more art artwork that's also being presented right here. What is also really cool is that you get postcards inside of the book. So this is Gamma right here. This is like uh, Gamma and Badugan. This is Gamma and uh, Gaios. This is like uh, Gamma and Virus. This is, of course, like uh, Gamera and Jagar. And, of course, some of the other monsters from the, um, the other series. And you can put them back together inside of the booklet right here. This book is the comic book collection. And pretty much, more or less, it has like all different types of comic books for Gamera into one big book. And the artwork, again, for the comic book collection, a lot of it was done by Matt Frank. And so you get like the movies as well as a comic book that also comes with the entire set. The final booklet, of course, goes into like a lot of details about the movies for the Gamera series. Of course, you get the original poster as well as some historical facts about the movie. You also get some sort of pictures about x-rays. For example, these are like the x-rays for different types of monsters. And so the book also has like these x-rays for these monsters. And of course you get like entire history about the different English versions for Gamera. And of course that's like the entire set right here. In terms of the audio options, the set is not really shabby at all. If you're a fan of the Japanese versions, as well as the English versions, this set has all the options for you. You get the Japanese audio, as well as two English dubs for the original Gamma films. You get the Sandy Frank dubs that was done in the 80s, as well as the AIP dubs that were done in the 60s and the 70s. So if you're a fan of both the Japanese and English audio tracks, it has practically all the English tracks for this whole entire set. As far as the extras are concerned, there's like so much freaking extras. So many freaking extras for one short video. If you guys are curious about the extras for the whole entire Gamera set, pause right here to read the entire speculations for the set in the back of my personal copy. Besides the aforementioned booklets that I just mentioned to you guys, there are also various audio commentaries for all the movies. Now, of course, this set has the original movies, the 90s trilogy, and Gamera the Brave. And so every single last movie that is included in this set has all has like the audio commentaries for the movies. 
And of course, there are various features talking about the history of Gamera and also so on and so forth. And so, in terms of the extras alone, this set is by far the best Gamera set. So if you guys are kind of concerned about if it's like the best Gamera set, rest assured, this is like the best Gamera set in terms of the extras. It has the English versions, it has Japanese, it has like a ton of extras, it has booklets, it has postcards. So to me at least, this is not just one of the best Gamera sets, if not the best Gamera set ever. This is probably one of the best box sets I've seen in a long time. And so, as far as the movies themselves, of course the movies are fun. I particularly like the first movie and the second movie for the original trilogy. Not trilogy, but the original movie series. However, to me at least, the best one so far, in my opinion, is the 90's Gamera trilogy. Without any single doubt. But if you guys are a fan like Gamera movies, or Kaiju movies, or whatever, I highly, highly recommend this set. The movies themselves, of course, the original movies, I give them like a 3 out of 5. For the 90's trilogy, of course, I give them like a 5 out of 5. And Gamera the Brave is like a 3.5 out of 5. But as far as the extras and the content alone for the box set is like a 5 out of 5. I highly recommend this set. So what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.